My name is Josh Mobley, also known as Neoverse. I write music for TV, some film, and I also work for the Pentagon for Lab TV on their educational site. I primarily use Reason and now record for 90% of my music. I've been working with Reason since 1.0. For me, I guess you could say that uh, using logic largely comes down to uh, syncing the picture. Let's say you've worked on this bass track. You have all these crazy edits on the mixer channel. You've like automated the EQ, the levels, the mutes, all that stuff. And um, you know, in reason, you know, you were kind of stuck with it. You know what I mean? Because if you were to like disengage the sound from the mixer and then go through rewire all those automation edits, you're gone. And record with the mixer how it is now. You know, it has a direct outs on every channel, so you know you can you know go direct out into rewire and then all of your automation, it's intact. This is a track that I did for Lab TV, and uh, I used Logic because I needed to uh, score the video. I want to show you the uh, rewiring of the mixer channels using the direct outs. Flip everything around, and you see there's a direct out on these mixer channels, so I'll just do that to the hardware output. And now if I go back to the logic, um, just solo that and there's the record drums. Sounds. And the, uh, the bass. It works the way you think it should work. A lot of times now, you know, people are asking for stems and, and sometimes even they want to mix the whole track, you know, so it's, it's not just a matter of grouping all the drums together, all the synths. They want the individual tracks, you know. Before, in Reason, you know, you had the, I mean, it was like a juggling act. You had to keep in mind what automation was being used, you know, especially if there was, you know, soloing and unsoloing, you know. <laughs> you had to just drill down, you know, every track and uh, export them one at a time. And with record, that's not the case anymore. You know, you just go to bounce mixer channels and you select what tracks you want to use, whether you want the effects with it or you want the effects as a separate track into itself, which is significant. And you just hit bounce and it does it all at once and you're done. I mean, that, that's incredible. So, you know, what used to take hours sometimes, like on complex arrangements, can take like a minute. <laughs> it's just a few clicks and you're done. I couldn't ever imagine going back with all the added features that, you know, the things that I can do that I couldn't do in Reason. The transition from Reason to Record, it's, it's seamless. Um, if you know how to use uh, Reason, then you already know how to use Record for the most part. People were screaming for uh, Reason to have audio for years, and um, I don't think that that program was ever meant to have it. I mean, it's a synthesizer workstation. You know, it's, a, it's a musical instrument more than anything else. And I think that, you know, Record, they've built this environment that's really made for those kinds of features. I noticed with uh, multiprocessor support, I can have a lot more devices than I used to. And all the Reason devices show up in Record exactly like they would in Reason. Create device, Thor, boom, done, there. And then you have this new mixer, which I've never heard anything like it. It's hard to describe, but if you're a Reason user, then you understand that it's completely musical in the way that you approach just doing your thing on it, you know? What Record is, is it's basically, it is Reason with just a ton of uh, new features and refinements.